All right, everybody. Hello, it's Derek with Reef Automation. And uh, this is gonna be a quick video just to show you my sky. I'm uh, gonna kind of give you just a first look of my setup, how I have the sky going. Also, show you a little bit of the programming. Uh, not too much, show you some of the parts that come with it. Uh, not much, but uh, let's get started. Okay, so I have two of them. As you can see right here. And they're probably about four inches away from each other. Um, I'm using my old hybrid, uh, I forgot the company, Aqua Life, Aquatic Life that makes it. And I just, essentially I just mounted it to the bracket uh, that I was using before. Uh, you can use uh, these with just about any bracket out there uh, that supports, um, you know, the radions and other light fixtures. It will actually mount to them. Uh, it's pretty neat how it works. So the cord, I, I kind of find out it's about 12 feet long. It's a very long cord. I have it coming all the way down here. And then <clears throat> if you take a look at the cord, it's got this locking uh, power cord. So it comes up here and then there's a split in the back here. And one of them goes to the aqua bus, uh, and then the other one comes to the power, which then gets plugged into the power uh, brick. Now, as I said on my stream, the power brick is kind of big. If you look at my hand, you can see it's kind of big. Um, so make sure you have room wherever you're going to be putting this. Um, but that's the power brick. Uh, I'm going to shut off the lights now, and we'll go through some of the setup. So if we come back to my panel here, and if I come down to my reef LED and reef moon, those are my skies. So I have them set up in a grouping fashion. So whatever change I make to the reef LED here, it'll adjust the LED. Also, if you're not familiar with the sky, it also has a separate moon channel, which is completely independent and programmed completely independently. So for instance, if I turn off my LED, So now if we come over here and look at the moonlights, you'll see that they're independent of the system. Now there's a small orange cap here that you can remove. I haven't removed it, but you can remove it if you want and actually put a gray cap on there if you don't want to have it uh, orange. So it's got this small little cap here. So that's pretty much how it looks uh, with the moonlights uh, all by itself. And then again, you have completely independent programming for that. So if we go into the programming, it's actually quite simple. Um, it's just like any of their other uh, 0 to 10 or lighting. You have the time. It actually tells you what the current time is with a line. So if you go to the right here, you can see this where you can set up your spectrums. And these are just preset spectrums by uh, Neptune right here. Um, if you go to the bottom here, you can adjust a custom spectrum. Now they use uh, green and red, and they use purple, red, uh, royal blue, and white. There is no separate green, and there is no separate red, and there's no separate UV. It's all tied into these um, channels here. They have a cloud cover setting. I haven't used that yet, um, but this will assimilate cloud cover, and that's the check mark to the right. Um, the moonlight is very similar. It looks kind of just like the LED, so we're going to go down to moon and take a look at that. And uh, the Moonlight's got two channels, the blue and the white. And you can adjust uh, the kind of the same thing. You can adjust the balanced if you want it uh, to just be balanced between the two. That's usually what I keep. I just have it go all day at the same uh, amount because it's not really doing a lot of supplemental lighting during the day anyways. So that's, uh, that's the sky. Um, I'll do a quick uh, view of the tank. So you can take a look at it. Okay, so here's what the tank looks like uh, under the skylights. It's about 5.30 here, so this is uh, towards the end of the day. But you can get a good idea of the coloration and also the fact that the light pretty much picks up everything in my tank. Uh, there's very, very little shadowing uh, other than in underneath the big leather coral, of course. But if you go through the whole tank, you can see uh, there is no supplemental lighting. It's just the sky. I'm getting full light on the back 
full light throughout the entire thing. You look down, there's just a little bit of shadowing in the back corners, but you can see it's fully illuminated in the back there. It's pretty incredible how much spread this thing gets. So that's pretty much the gist of it. That's uh, the sky again. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and hopefully you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching.